than kielbasa as the prime minister's motorcade passed by. This is a Hi, I'm Lance Anderson. We have a live one, all set. I think the audio input level should be at 8. We're going in 30 seconds. Donnie here, and while it seems you aren't working on Labor Day, sadly for me there's no rest for the leery. But there's no use getting my nipples in a twist. How about I do my job and bestow upon you some instructions? Interested? No, it is. Take I've got a contestant uh, hunkering for a game. There. Okay, folks, we're getting close. That's um, player one, it going seems going you're missing a pseudopod. Uh, you're gonna be muffy. Okay. Because you seem slightly off. Ten seconds. Off you glow. Test vibration. I love you, random voice. Six. Press A. Five. To go to black. Go ahead and touch three. someone. With other people's fingers. This is Cookie, sending out a happy 97th birthday to James Olofsson of... What? He died? Never mind. You know what I love more than anything? Wasting all these great questions on a single player. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Mosquitard, the full-body mosquito repellent wear. Works on mats, fleas, ticks, and chiggers, too. So why not get started? Kicking things off, this question don't run. Okay, here's a little patriotic math for you. Quick, the number of stars on the US flag minus the number of stripes equals what? 13, 37, 43, or 57? Watch your time! 50 stars minus 13 stripes leaves 37. Which is the exact number of UFOs currently being stored in a hangar in Area 51. Call the CIA! Take a stab at... Did he plan it that way? Considering the unique feat he accomplished while on the moon, what triumphant phrase might Apollo 14 astronaut Alan Shepard have radioed back to mission control? That's one small poop for a man. That's one small guitar lick for a man. That's one small swing for a man. Or, that's one small paint stroke for a man. Alan Shepard was the first, and I'm pretty sure the only person to hit a golf ball on the moon. Unfortunately, he didn't hit it past the ladies' tee, so he had to complete the back nine with his schwanz hanging out of his spacesuit. I call this one. My imaginary friend owes me money. Okay, so I want to ask you a question about uh, a friend of mine. He or or she is is just a friend. It's not me. Let's say this friend, who was really lonely growing up, invented a game where they would fill up every slot on the Connect 4 board. What should not me, but my friend, call this game? Connect 16, Connect 21, Connect 36, or Connect 42? No, although that reminds me of my, uh, I, I, I mean, my, my friend's 16th birthday party when no one came. The correct answer is... There are 42 spaces on the Connect 4 vertical board. Not that I knew that from memory. Somebody just told me, okay? Hey, Cookie? Yes, my friend. I appreciate you not using my name. The loneliness still hurts. You are welcome, Scott Turner. Oh, that was a mistake. Wow, you just said my name? Oh, man, I made it all the way through without saying your name, and then... It, it was me! I, I didn't have any friends. Not Scott Turner, he was very popular. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Up next, Baristas in the Wild. And this one is a classic dis or dat. I'm gonna give you a list of seven different names, and for each one, I'd like you to tell me if it's an animal on the endangered creatures list, or a blend of coffee at Starbucks. If it's an endangered animal, press the square button. If it's a Starbucks coffee, 
Press your circle button. Each correct answer earns you 300 bucks. Each incorrect answer will endanger your cash. But keep in mind, time is running out for these animals and you. You only get 30 seconds. Okay, let's move. Costa Rica Tarazu. Sonoran Pronghorn. Ethiopia Lemu. Turkish Red Damsel. Mexico Chiapas. Decaf Sumatra. Australian Grayling. Not bad, but the real question is, is your cup made of 60% post-consumer fibers? I like all the third world peace offerings Starbucks makes to the people who grow their coffee beans. I don't like thinking about the people themselves, per se, but they make a damn good cup of joe. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Here's one I like to call Adam and Eve. So, they say that marriage is an everlasting bond. Quite frankly, I don't think they know what the hell they're talking about. If your marriage were an ionic bond, what unique complaint might come up in couples therapy? First, she gave me nothing but negative energy. He never wants to get close to me anymore. As soon as we were married, she doubled in size. Or, I'm not the only one he's bonding with. Time is short. When two atoms love each other very much, one of them may shed its electrons and become positively charged. If another atom adds those electrons, they become negatively charged. Until about five years into the relationship when most of the charge is gone completely. That's the end of round one. And surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And remember, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Okay, here it comes. Here's one for you. All comedians have baggage. Look at the Cookie, that box of trash someone sent in is still sitting in the hallway. So, we'll get to it eventually. It's been eight weeks now. Several people have tripped over it, and it's making everybody really nervous. Paul from accounting suspects a bomb threat. A bomb threat? Well, then you open it. Okay. All right, no bombs, so scram! Okay, what do we have here? There is a banjo, a tape on how to speak with a French accent, and an arrow through the head prop. Whose trash is this? Jack Black's, Carrot Top's, Dimitri Martin's, or Steve Martin's? Do you know how much Carrot Top paid us to mention his name in our game? Here's what you meant to pick. Steve Martin is an accomplished banjo player, portrayed French detective Clouseau in the Pink Panther remakes, and famously used the arrow through the head gag in his early stand-up. And... Oh no, wait a minute, there is a bomb in here! Look out! It's cheaper by the dozen, too! Question 7! Coming up... Don't judge a cereal by its cover. What would you find inside a box of Wheaties if they included prizes inspired by the guy who wrote Breakfast of Champions? A Kurt Vonnegut Dakota ring? A John Irving temporary tattoo? A J.D. Salinger step counter? Or Stephen King 3D glasses? Kurt Vonnegut wrote the classic bit of high school required reading, Breakfast of Champions. A Kurt Vonnegut cereal sounds like a bad idea. It'll probably just taste like Kilgore trout. Lord and chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. This one's known as engagement things. What's the difference between the bachelor's Vienna Girardi's ring and the Austrian city of Vienna's ring? Hers was real, the city's was imaginary. Hers was diamond, the city's was gold. Hers goes on a finger, the city's goes on your neck. Or the city still has its ring.
If you have a strong enough imagination, you can pretend you got this right. <laughs> this would have worked. The Ring is the name of the main artery surrounding the city of Vienna. Once Vienna Girardi broke up with her bachelor dude, she had to return her ring. <laughs> Too bad. If you can't find love on a mean-spirited reality TV show, where can you find it? Why not try... I wanna see Saw. Okay, so imagine a sequel to the Saw movies. Let's call it... Saw 53. If Jigsaw created a device that cut his victim at a perfect 45 degree angle, which saw must he have used? A rip saw, a miter saw, a bite saw, or a crosscut saw? Here's what a right answer looks like. A miter saw sits in a miter box so that you can accurately make angled cuts. Once you have your miter saw, all you need is an egg timer, a few lengths of chain, and a bear trap, and you're ready to get down to business. Bite saw, bite me. <laughs> Although you won't have to worry about getting bit at all with your brand new... Mosquitard! The Mosquito Repelling Unitard! This scientifically designed mosquito repellent and full body covering is the only sure method of keeping pesky bugs away. You can once again enjoy campouts, barbecues, or just relaxing in your own backyard. As much as you can while wearing a full body suit. Fight bugs back with Mosquitard! Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy! Me, never let me go. Here's a good one. Stop looking at my community chest. How would you get from Mediterranean Avenue to Boardwalk in a version of Monopoly released by Parkour Brothers? By hijacking Reading Railroad, by running and climbing over hotel walls, by breaking out of jail, or by total chance? Parkour is that crazy running, jumping, and climbing up buildings that the kids do these days. I'm not a huge fan of running and jumping, but I do enjoy kicking the Monopoly board after losing for three hours. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What will you be wearing? I'll be wearing my lucky chaps. Have fun. Great game. Excuse me while I get your score tattooed on my lower back. No! You don't know Jack! That's a wrap. Donnie, what's happening? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? Yellow? Tired of straining your eyes reading the yellow pages? Hate carrying around all that heavy paper. 
Now, get all the information of the telephone directory in the excitement of an audiobook. It's the telephone directory audiobook from Yellow Pages Audio Phone Books. This 250 disc set includes businesses, Alverson Plumbing, 847 to Residence, Donaldson, Edgar C, 952 456, and much, much more. Order in the next 20 minutes and we'll send you a free copy of VCR instructions read by Sir Ian McKellen. To cancel the blanked program position, select the corresponding program. Buy your telephone directory audio book today and let your ears do the reading celebrity voice impersonated whatever happened to Hootie and the blowfish find out tonight <laughs> what the f was that? Find out tonight. Next week on a new episode of Old People Exceeding Expectations. Mr. Tillman, do you need a hand getting to the bathroom? Oh, leave me you some shred of dignity. I can use the toilet without your help. You don't need to hold my hand. Oh, okay, great. Scream if you get trapped in there. Yeah. That's next week on Old People Exceeding Expectations. You have too many shelves? Don't know what to do with them? Well, now it's time to put your worries on the shelf. Introducing Shelf Shelves. Shelf Shelves are made exclusively for shelving shelves, and each Shelf Shelf shelves up to 12 shelves per shelf. That's a lot of shelves. Shelf Shelves saved my life. I really wanted to kill my shelf. Don't get stuck with unshelved shelves. Buy Shelf Shelves today, and do your shelf a favor. Extremely secretive and expensive government research suggests that cats like gum. More on that tonight. Mommy, we need candy. We need it bad. Okay, sweethearts, here's a candy bar from the supermarket. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it, Mommy. <laughs> Hey kids, I got what you're looking for. Little Smacky! Whoa, hey, you don't need to announce it to the world. Okay, you want the highest quality candy contraband available? Yeah, I got your choice high concentration fruit chews. I got your Malta milk balls, imported from Mexico. I got the finest sugar tots you've ever seen in powdered form. Wow, it's so fine! Whoa, hey, look with your eyes, kid. Need accessories? We got tons of pipes, pieces, and candy bongs for when uh, your little lungs have a big sweet tooth. We'll take it all! Susie, take mommy's purse! Hey! Pleasure doing business, kids, and remember, share your juice, share your dolls, but never share your candy needles. We love Little Smackies Candy Contraband! Bowling! Why ruin such a primal sport by gingerly putting your fingers through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl? Introducing Istabul Bowling Equipment. For the dude who takes on the world knuckles first. We customize all of our balls, bags, and shoes so they fit your fist perfectly. And you can get right down to the business of punching out a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Wow. Istable Bowling Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. <laughs> strongly suggest